Welcome back, everyone. All right, we are about to do an online class for the October birth flower marigold. There it is. I'm checking to make sure we are good on Facebook, and yes, there we are. And thank you so much for joining us today. Um, please know that I will get back with all the wonderful comments and questions um, after the class. All right, so. By the way, let me talk to you a little bit about these. Uh, these are, they do have painting kits that come with these and an online class for every single class. And this will be um, the October month. And they all have wonderful, high quality paint, very heavy bodied acrylic paint. And then there is a brush set that comes with it. Now mine is very used and loved. Yours will look prettier than this. Um, but it has that and the canvas and the traceable and the transfer paper and permanent marker, pencil, and there's some tape in there. There's a, there's a, a really nice painting. There's a bunch more stuff. All the description is on the website, tipsyartist.com. So please check that out. It makes a beautiful birthday gift. So here we go. We're going to get started here. I've got my painting. I've been using a palette here. This is also very loved and it's becoming quite colorful. Um, and then I've got my brushes out. You want to make sure and grab a paper towel. Make sure you've got some water nearby. And then uh, paper towels also work to help clean up your brushes. All right, and then we're going to get started with our background first with our paint. But let's talk about the transfer first. So I went ahead and Gosh, mine's kind of a mess. It's over here in the trash. <laughs> it's like, oops. So my transfer paper, boy, that's a little bit not very tidy. All right, but basically this is what the transfer paper looks like first. And it also has, this is the traceable. Here's the transfer paper. So a few words on this. Let's talk about this first. So you want to make sure that your transfer paper has the dull gray side facing up and then the shiny black side facing the canvas. I always just tape a couple of places. I, I, th I did it here like three times. One, two, three, up here at the top. Make sure it's centered on the canvas and just tape it up here at the top and then you can use your pencil from your kit and just basically trace around every line. Basically, wherever you see a line, just trace right on top of it and then that will transfer this image to your canvas. Then once you're done with that, and one more thing, let me say this too. Um, the reason why I don't tape around the sides or the bottom and I leave all this loose is so that when I do trace, I can lift up and check my work. So that's really important because you don't want to have to reline it up again. So you do want to check your work to make sure that everything is completely transferred and then you'll be all set. All right, let's go ahead and remove this. And then let's go ahead and take a look at our work here. So initially without the permanent marker on here, it just looks like a pencil line and you can leave it like that if you want. I prefer to go ahead and do a hard line over it with the permanent marker that comes with your kit also. So and basically what that looks like is just a permanent marker just like this that will come with your kit and I do the hard line around every line there. So that makes it a lot easier for beginners that way you never lose your trace. And then I'm going to go ahead and start to do all the background first here. So I need to make a really pretty, I'm doing a neutral background now with like a beige look. So I will be starting off with my cadmium yellow and then my titanium white and then also my Mars black. All right, so I'm going to start with some fresh cadmium yellow over here. Got a nice heavy quarter size dollop of that. And then I went ahead and I've got some titanium white already out and some Mars black. And I'm going to go ahead and start with my mama brush here. So I'm going to grab about dime size amount here of this and I'm going to mix it in with my cadmium yellow. We're going to lighten that up quite a bit. 
Now I'm also going to just barely touch into the black, just a tiny little touch there, and work that into that color. So what's basically happening is you've got this black and white that's mixing together making a gray, and then that is working in with this bright yellow, and then that's going to pull it to more of a khaki look, and you can see that happening already here on the palette. Alright, so again, it's black and then white. That's making that gray. And by the way, gray is also another really pretty neutral here too, but I definitely am going for more of a cream look just because I think it's nice with fall. So that's why I add in some of that cadmium yellow here. And hello again to everybody out there joining us today. I hope you all are having a beautiful day. We do have some wonderful weather out there today. I love it. It's just really nice. I think high 80s is what we have today, so it's really nice temperatures. All right, so there we go. We've got our beautiful khaki, and then I'm also going to make sure that I keep a lot of white here nearby. So I'm going to be doing like a crisscross stroke in the background. And let's go ahead and start to push this back and forth here. And then a little bit of white too. And one of the reasons why I love my permanent marker on here is because it will make this bleed through the paint. Now again, one other option here that you might enjoy is just doing all of your background first. Let that completely set up and dry. And then come in and do your transfer over the top of that. That is also another option that you can do. And it works really well. I don't do that during a live just because I need to work seamlessly through the whole project. But it definitely works well at home. So I'm going to go ahead and work back and forth between my white and my khaki. And I'm going to go ahead and just push back and forth here. Holding that brush just a little bit more over to the side where the flat side of the brush can face the canvas. And again, a little bit more white. We're going to bring that in. And it kind of feels like you make little crisscrosses back and forth. We can add just a little touch of water here too. And I'll be doing this over the entire surface area of my canvas. You can also use a bigger brush here too if you like, but this is just the brush that comes with my kit. You can see lots of repetition. And if it does get to be, again, there's couple of options here. Again, you can work in all your background first and then do your trace over the top. That way you never have to worry about still seeing your line work. But if it does become, if you do it the same way that I'm doing it and it becomes a little bit heavy and you start to lose your line, then of course you can just add a little bit of water to that paint and make it a bit more translucent there and then you'll be able to see your trace just kind of peek right back through. I will say if I were going to recommend one way over the other, I would say it would definitely be to go ahead and just do all your background first, let it completely set up and dry, and then come back in and do your trace over the top. I definitely think that's a lot easier. And that way also you can be very heavy handed with all of your background here work too and just make sure it's a nice really nice pretty thick coat here. But we're getting some really nice texture with again that alternating back and forth of the white and that warm pretty creamy khaki look.
Again, I can be a little bit loose and sloppy with this because, again, it's just bleeding right through. And then we'll be painting over that here in just a little moment as soon as we get done with our background. And definitely see how it's really important to keep mixing up and alternating the white and the cream. I think it's a lot more interesting that way. Kind of looks like an old wall that you might find in Provence. It's very pretty. It's very relaxing to move the brush in this way as well. Go into water every now and again, just kind of helps make that paint a bit more fluid. white up in here in this background area and again just lots of repetition you want it to softly fade into the background you don't want any abrupt lines coming in through there so just keep working it back and forth nice light gentle hand Welcome everybody who's joining us out there. Thank you so much for being here with us. We're working on our birthday kits today. This is the month of October, the Marigold. And we do have birthday kits for every month. These make really fun gifts. And up here in the corner, again, I'm going to add just a little bit more white. And again, just keep pushing that back and forth, just little crisscrosses. Very light hand. It's important to, again, keep that brush more over to the flat side. done with that background. Just grabbing a little bit more water to push that on back and forth. It helps all the paint just flow into every porous part of the canvas. Just making sure there's a nice light wash around all this. We 
gonna put more water again, just making sure it's a nice light wash over the top. Okay, now I'm working on bigger, broader strokes there, it's just trying to get in those big sweeping movements for the background. I'm gonna look over the back side here and just make sure we've got some really pretty areas where some broad strokes of white are placed in over the top, some nice highlights. It's definitely got that look, again, like an old, like an old stucco wall. We're looking good there. That completes our background. Oh, wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and clean off. This is my mama brush. I'm going to go ahead and clean off the mama brush. Cleaning, just push it round and round and round. A little bit of firm pressure in the bucket of water here. That helps release that paint. I keep checking for it to run clear. So that needs a little more. Pushing, swirling, starting to run clear now. I'll do a quick drag on the end of the bucket. Let's go ahead and wipe down. It is really important to keep your brushes clean if you don't have a chance to get to them for a moment. Um, it's always wonderful to go ahead and place those brushes into the water. The acrylic paint will set up and dry on your brushes pretty quickly. So you do want to make sure they're either wet or you just clean them you know, best case scenario is to clean them as soon as you get done using it, but if you don't get a chance to, don't just leave them sitting around with paint on them somewhere out in the open. That will ruin your brushes very quickly. Alright, so now let's go ahead and look at doing the green part now for the stem. Alright, we have some beautiful greens in our painting kit here, so let's take a look at those. Now keep in mind, I'm using older tubes of paint here to try to use these up, so you will have beautiful brand new tubes of paint. Alright, let's take a look at what we have here, and then, you know what, let's do, we need some primary yellow, maybe, if I can find some, I'm going to have to crack open a new for that because I'm getting a little low on that. Alright, so we have some bright yellow green. Let's put some of that right over there. Just a, about a nickel dollop of that. Then we have some cadmium green. The same amount there. And then this is my viridian green. This adds a little bit more depth to it, a darker tone. Has kind of a teal feel to it. It's really pretty. And then if you want to go light for a bright accent here, then we have our primary yellow. Alright, so I'll be using my little bit brush now. Just a round tack on brush. And I'm going to go ahead and push into a little bit of that bright yellow green and the cadmium green. We'll start with that. A little bit of both of those together. And then we will push this into the stem. And the hold on the brush is just really holding it just like you would hold a pencil. So that makes it very easy to control. You just go right into that line work that we did initially. Again, this is our bright yellow green, cadmium green. 
We're just working right into that shape. And this will be our marigold painting today. This is the October birth flower. So we have kits for every single birthday flower. Makes for a really cute gift idea. Alright, so while this is still a little bit wet in here, I'm going to go ahead and twist that excess out, go into the viridian, and we'll come in with just a little bit of an accent right over the line. You can see it gets a nice soft little blend in with the rest of the paint, which is nice. Now I'll go back into that light, bright yellow green, kind of softly work that through a little bit, blend right back into it for a nice soft transition between the two. Just work this all the way up here. And this is our bright yellow green, our cadmium green, and then also a little touch of viridian. And all the paints come in the kit that comes with this, so you don't have to worry about hunting these down. a touch of viridian to make that little curve right over the front. Twist out and come in a little bit lighter here, a little touch of that primary yellow right over the top. looking beautiful. And we have a little bit more of this green that comes up through the back side. touch into a tiny bit of that viridian just to do a little bit of an accent. 
and all these little points that come up and over this little flower here. Pretty. All right, now let's do a little bit more of this bright yellow green here in the background. But you know what? I want to separate this a bit with some viridian here on the stem and the foreground so it doesn't get lost into that shape coming behind it. Then I'll come back in a little bit lighter here, just behind it in this little shape. This is another little green leaf coming in here in the back. Do some viridian again to separate this shape and that curve right over the front. Just a little bit of that cadmium green right over the front there. And we'll do a little bit more of the cadmium just right around the edge. See, I'm just making sure I've got all the green done. It's looking quite lovely. I'm going to do a little bit more cadmium just right along the edge here. And then another little touch of my bright yellow green just right on the other side. Alright, that's looking really beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out. A little bit more in there. We're going to be shifting gears now to a lot more of our cadmium yellow and some orange. It's cadmium red. Okay, so we've got some cadmium orange. This almost looks, nope, I thought it was brand new for a second. All right, so I've got a big quarter size heaping amount of my orange over here. And then cadmium yellow. We've got this right there, yep, still wet. Let's do a little bit more just in case. All right, beautiful. Okay, so in this particular model here, I've got some deeper, darker oranges, and then you know what, as an accent, we need a little bit of some brown. So how do we get that? Is this fresh? Oh darn, it's dry. That's too bad. All right, I'm going to do a little touch of black with some orange, and that makes brown. Isn't that wonderful? All right, so this will be a nice little accent here. Let's do a little bit more orange, because that's a bit dark. I just want like a warm chocolate brown. So it's mostly orange with just a little tiny touch of the black. So I want to go ahead and do my shadows first. And hello out there. Welcome, welcome. We are working on our marigolds today. This is the birth flower for October. We have these as part of our birthday gifts. We have birthday painting kits. So for every month, we have the birth flower for every month. It's pretty cool. And so every painting kit comes with the transfer, the traceable, all the paint, brushes, pencil, permanent marker, 
this online class. Let's get a bit more water. We do a little birthday card in the kit. It's really fun. It's a really fun birthday idea. Tighten up some of these lines here on the outside. A little bit of water helps kind of fill in every single little porous part of the canvas. Kind of smooths it out a little bit. Now that we have that line work done, then we can really work in just our bright, bright orange. So now I'm going to rinse that a little bit, go back in with our bright orange, and also maybe a little touch of our cadmium orange, or cadmium yellow, sorry about that. So we've got cadmium yellow and our cadmium orange. So those two combined, and then we're going to work into each one of these little petals. And in that way, our petal shapes stay very well defined. This makes it a little bit easier for beginners to go ahead and fill this in. And if you run into a, just a little bit of transparency, then of course change how you hold the brush. You want to turn that handle just a little bit more over to the side where the flat side of the brush faces the canvas. Coming back in with little highlights here of more of that cadmium yellow right over the top. So again, this is a layer of a, a really beautiful light chocolate brown that we mixed up with the cadmium orange and the Mars black. Now I'm coming back over it with just cadmium orange, and then I'm also doing a little sweep of the cadmium yellow just right over the top to create just a nice little highlight. So that's looking really beautiful. That's the front side of our little marigold there. And I'm going to keep this a little bit darkened in the center there just to kind of keep that little bit of shadow. <sighs> really pretty. Okay, so now what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and rinse that a little bit. 
and then we're going to shift over to the lighter colors. We're going to start with that first this time. So we have our cadmium yellow here, and you know what? I think I know I need more of that, so I'm going to do a bigger dollop of our cadmium yellow. Got a heaping quarter size dollop, and then I'm looking for some more yellow. Oh, got some. Take a look into the secret drawer. There's a lot in there, too. So we need more of that accent happening. All right. Nice heaping quarter size dollop there. So I'm going to start light with that cadmium, basically a mix of three. So cadmium yellow, primary yellow, and maybe a little hints of orange in there too. Pulling back in a little bit more of that primary yellow right in the tip there. So I'm going to start a little bit darker at the base. So once I get kind of a mix of all three, then I come right back in with just some of that pure primary yellow. Push it right in at the tip and just kind of pull back towards the center. So again, start with cadmium yellow, a little bit of orange. Run this up through the petal to that point. Right. I'm going to come back now in with more primary yellow and just kind of pull that right in from the tip and then pull that back towards the center. A nice highlight there. And welcome again, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are working on the marigold, which is the October flower. Goes with our birthday kits. And before I shift to another petal, another note that's important is I do try to just create a little bit of contrast between each petal. So you don't want to just always have it be exactly the same because you want each petal to remain distinct next to each other. So I do kind of go in for a little bit of it, just in you know, a lighter and then darker, lighter, darker kind of a thing. don't just run into each other. We need to maintain those separate petals. So 
Looking so pretty. Alright, really nice. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and shift over to this other side. Now I'm moving it completely around and the reason why is because you want to try to eliminate any possibility of placing your arm into your work. So I need to just continue working on this flower so it's obviously much better for me to turn it and it makes it very easy for me to reach into this shape and paint and not have to worry about avoiding all of this other space here that I've already painted into. Alright, so this center here is very orange, so I'm going to go a little bit dark on this. Quite lovely. It's being um, a little bit transparent on you, remember to kind of turn the brush over to the side. Now I'm going to add just a little hint of the cadmium yellow, a little bit of texture in there. And now as I pull out on all those beautiful petals, I'm going to start with a darker orange, and then I'm going to go in with my cadmium yellow and help extend that out all the way to the tip. And then it's basically very similar to what we did here. Where I'm going to come in on each petal and add a nice little touch of this bright primary yellow to where it is lighter at the tip. Right, so again, start with that orange and then move to some of that cadmium yellow and then go right in for the primary yellow right at the tip and then working it in while it's still wet to wet paint gives some nice mix between the two I've been spending a lot more time in the garden this, well, last couple of years now. <laughs> so, I used to never have time for gardening, and now I do, and then plus we're just we're doing everything from home now a lot more. So it's got me thinking a lot more about flowers. And then again, this makes for a really nice birthday gift. Again, this is our month of October and the marigold. Get some of that primary yellow. It's pretty. Keep turning it, just make it easier on yourself and turn it as needed. Again, starting with the orange and then the cadmium yellow and then a little touch of primary yellow. I'm very liberal with the texture too, so I use a lot of paint 
and I like to have that texture just lay right on top. I'm not, I'm not afraid of that. It's kind of nice to have it sort of thick on there. If you do have any questions or comments for me, I always get back to those after the class. So feel free to leave those for me. And again, thank you so much for being here with me today. This is a great way to unwind and get some peaceful time in your life. Again, this mix is a nice, easy mix, starting with cadmium orange and then cadmium yellow, and then a little touch of that primary yellow right on the end. And my uh, tip of the brush is getting pretty fat with paint filled up, so I'm going to do a little squeegee, I just kind of squeeze it out there, and then reload. I knew I needed to get small again and have a little bit more control, so sometimes you have to go back and taper the brush a bit. This way and get the squeegee out and get more of that primary yellow. Now I'm just working on doing a little bit more of those primary yellow touches. Making those a bit more dramatic. That's really pretty there. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more of that orange. Just kind of barely tap, tap in here. I want a little bit more of a shadow in here though. So I'm going to pick up, just have a little bit maybe of that chocolate brown, or I can mix a bit more of it again with the black and the orange. Just do a little bit more of that right into there. Get 
see, that was just a little bit of a tap, tap, tap there. All right. So that is looking so beautiful. I love it. All right, so as a recap, y'all, this is our marigold flower, month of October. These come with our birthday kits. Uh, so it makes for a really fun gift for anyone you know who's having a birthday in the month of October. Uh, so they do come with all the supplies that you need, the online class and a little birthday card. So it's a really fun gift to give. All right, so this is awesome. And we can also sign our masterpiece. So one of the other things that comes with the kit is a little permanent marker. You can paint this on or you can even use your little permanent marker here. Tipsy artist. Well done. Good job. All right, so this has been awesome. Very fun, relaxing way to spend the afternoon. So again, makes for a great birthday gift to give to somebody so that you can help them relax and celebrate themselves and their birthday. And then just a really classic piece that they can have up in their home all the time to help remind them to cherish themselves and to value themselves, celebrate themselves and to appreciate nature a little bit there too so very nice all right so thank you so much for joining us we'll be doing a lot more of these as we um, start to take some time to dive into every single flower we do have one for every single month so this will be a lot of fun to do with y'all again so all of these classes are going to be on Facebook or sometimes it's easier to find them on YouTube either one but y'all have a beautiful rest of the day and happy birthday if it's your birthday and by the way speaking of birthdays it is my mom's birthday today I'm gonna to have to do a September flower for her so I'll be doing that uh, this month for sure but everybody say happy birthday mom <laughs> and uh, thank y'all so much for joining us and y'all have a beautiful rest of the day and we'll see you soon Doodles.